Hello dear students, as we have completed all the topics related to chapter number 6 changes around us. So today we will discuss some key words and question answers related to this chapter. So let's begin. So this is worksheet number 1 and this worksheet contain keywords. Keywords means hard words. First, reversible change. A change that can be reversed and we get back the original substance by changing the condition is known as reversible change. For example, melting of ice is a reversible change. When ice melt, it will change into liquid state and then if you keep that liquid inside the refrigerator, it will again convert into solid state that is ice. Second, irreversible change, a change in which we cannot get back the original substance. For example, burning of paper. On burning paper, the paper converted into ash and that ash you can't convert it back into original paper. Third, expansion. The increase in size of a substance on heating is called expansion. Fourth, contraction. The decrease in size of a substance on cooling is called contraction. Now, worksheet number two and this worksheet contain NCRT based question answers. Question one, to walk through a waterlogged area, you usually shorten the length of your dress by folding it. Can this change be reversed? Answer, yes, the length of the dress can be reversed by unfolding it. Second, you accidentally drop your favorite toy and broke it. This is a change you did not want. Can this change be reversed? Answer, no, this change cannot be reversed because breaking a toy is an irreversible change. Question number three, some changes are listed in the following table. For each change, write in a blank column whether the change can be reversed or not. Answer. First, the sawing of a piece of wood. Sawing means cutting. So, cutting a piece of wood is an irreversible change. Because if you cut the wood, the wood change, the, uh, the length of the wood gets changed. Second, melting of ice candy, so it is a reversible change. The melted ice candy again convert into solid form if you keep the candy inside the refrigerator. Third, dissolving sugar in water is a reversible change because when you mix the sugar inside the water, it will completely dissolve. Then afterwards, Heat the water. While heating, the water changes into vapor and the solid sugar particle will left behind inside the beaker. Fourth, cooking of food. Cooking of food is an irreversible change because you can't convert the cooked food into a raw food material. Fifth, the ripening of a mango. The ripening of a mango is also an irreversible change because the ripped mango, you can't convert it into a raw mango. Six, souring of milk, it is also an irreversible change. Question four, a drawing sheet changes when you draw a picture on it. Can you reverse this change? Answer, yes. If it, it is drawn with a pencil, it can be reversed by erasing. But you cannot reverse this change if the picture is made by pen, oil color or sketch pen. Question number 5. Give examples to explain the difference between changes that can or cannot be reversed. Answer. Example or reversible change like example 1 stretching of rubber band. Second, drying of wet clothes. Third, inflating. Inflating means blowing. Blowing a balloon with air. Fourth, melting of ice. In all the above example, you can get back the original substance by changing the conditions. So, that's why 
they are reversible changes example of irreversible changes like cooking of food burning of paper curdling of milk break baking of chapati in all the above example you cannot get back the original substance and a new substance is formed so that's why they are irreversible changes question 6 a thick coating of a plaster of paris is applied over the bandage on a fractured bone it becomes hard on drying to keep the fractured bone immobilized can the change in plaster of paris be reversed answer no the change in plaster of paris cannot be reversed as it becomes hard on drying and a new product or substance is formed question 7 a bag of cement lying in the open gets wet due to rain during the night the next day the sun shines brightly do you think the changes which have occurred in the cement could be reversed answer no the change which have occurred in the cement cannot be reversed because when the cement gets wet due to rain and after drying under the sun the cement gets solidified and that solid form of the cement you can't convert into its powder form so students that's all for today so do all the keywords and the question answers in your science notebook neatly thank you